Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Classroom Jeku Dio. In this video, we are going to look at the relationship between types of surface of object and heat absorption and emission. Have you ever noticed that the fuel tank truck are normally very bright in colors? They are either white or silver and most of the time they are also very shiny. Why is that? Have you ever wondered? This is because bright colors do not absorb a lot of heat and this will help reducing the evaporation of the fuel. The ability of the object to absorb or radiate heat depends on two factors that is the type of surface and also the color of surface. Okay, Two factors that will uh, that will that will affect the ability of an object to either absorb or radiate heat is R, <laughs> the type of surface and also the color of surface. Let's look at heat absorber first. When one object absorbs heat, that means they gain heat, they receive heat, its temperature will increase. So let's look at this setup here. We have two milk cans. For milk can J, we paint it in white. And milk can K, we paint it in black. So we have one in white and one in black. And we will put in a thermometer to measure the temperature inside the milk can. Then we set up a Bunsen burner in the middle. Before we start the experiment, we will record the temperature the initial temperature for J and K and the initial temperature should be the same say it is 30 degrees Celsius then we will light the Bunsen burner and wait for 10 minutes and we will read the thermometer we will read the temperature again for J and K you will find that for J it might go up to about 40 degrees and for K, it will go up to 55 degrees Celsius. That means for J, the white milk can, there is an increase of 10 degrees Celsius. Whereas for milk can K, that is in black, show the increase of temperature for about 25 degrees Celsius. This gives us the conclusion that the dark and dull surfaces, they are better heat absorbers, meaning they can absorb or receive or, or bring in heat better compared to white and shining uh, surfaces. Okay, so remember, dark and dull surfaces, they are better heat absorber, meaning when it is hot around them, they become hot themselves uh, faster compared to white and shining one. How about heat radiator? What is heat radiator? When one object radiates heat, when an object radiates heat, it means it gives out heat and its temperature will decrease. Okay, its own temperature decreases when it radiates heat. So let's look at the setup for this experiment. We use the same milk can. Okay, so we have J and K. J milk can painted in white, whereas K will be milk can painted in black. But for this uh, experiment, we will fill both milk cans up with hot water. We'll fill them up with hot water and we will take the initial temperature for both J and K. So initially, both of them have the hot water in them that is 90 degrees Celsius. Then we will wait for 10 minutes and then we will uh, record their final temperature. So they should be cooler because they are beginning to radiate heat and lose heat to their surrounding. But do they lose the same amount of heat? We will find out. For J, the final temperature may be about 80 degrees Celsius after 10 minutes. But for K, the milk can that is painted in black, you will find that there will be a, uh, a, a bigger drop in temperature that is, it will record around 65 degrees Celsius. So for J, it shows a decrease of 10 degrees Celsius, whereas for K, 
it shows um, a drop of 25 degrees Celsius. So the conclusion is dark and dull surfaces are also better heat radiators meaning if you took, put hot water into a container the one that is darker and with dull more dull surface they will lose the heat easier they are better heat radiators they radiate the heat more uh, a lot better compared to a white and shiny surface so here is our overall summary we have two types of surfaces okay one will be dark and dull second will be white and shiny so for heat absorbers dark and dull surfaces are better heat absorbers compared to white and shiny surface how about heat radiators it is also the dark and dull surfaces that will be better heat radiators compared to white and shiny surfaces so this is overall the concept that we are talking about well we have come to the end of chapter 9 chapter 9 we talk a lot about heat so what are some of the heat concepts in daily life well lately people are getting more and more a uh, realization of how important it is for us to be environmental friendly and also to stay healthy so there has been a concept coming in which is the green building concept it is an idea developed to reduce effects of rapid development on the environment and also on our health so what are some of the features of the green buildings? Number one, it has high energy efficiency, meaning that they use solar energy or any other renewable energy. Number two, it has good water flow system, air circulation, and also lighting. And number three, the feature of a green building will be very big on recycle materials in order to be environmental friendly and also to take a very good care of our health well that is the end of chapter 9 i will see you again in my next video which is in chapter 10 okay bye if you have learned something new from this video don't forget to like and subscribe